two in unit three, which is talking about geometric transformations. We started before in grade five, the reflection, right? This year we will study translation. We will see what is the meaning of translation. And we have another um, transformation which is rotation, okay? Let's see uh, the difference between that. Here, the reflection, like a mirror. Here, translation, to move from its place in uh, a specific uh, distance and direction. And rotation, which go round. Let's see if you can determine which um, transformation is everyone. Here, the first one, this F goes to this way, okay, or this direction, okay? So this is translation. Here, it goes round, so this is called rotation. Here, it's reflect, reflect, so this is reflection. The other one, here, yes, translation. Here, reflection, and this, rotation, okay? What about this? Here, in this image, there is a core. There are two cores, okay? But in fact, there is only one core, but it, uh, it changes its place. Let's see. If a core moved a distance of 25 meters, so the core was there, okay? And it moves to this direction for 25 meters forward. So here I have magnitude or the distance, it is called also magnitude, and the direction, which is forward. Okay, here, on a square let us draw triangle ABC, where point A, negative three and two, and we learn the next time how to represent any point on the coordinate plane. So here, A, negative three and two, will be here, A, and B, negative one and one. And C, negative two and zero. So C will be here. Then find its image by translation. We said before, translation means it moves or slide in a direction and in uh, a distance or magnitude. The magnitude here is two. And where is the direction? The direction is positive, okay? In the positive direction. Uh, in X, we said here x and y. So here, negative three plus two. So it will be um, negative one. Negative three plus two, negative one. And two plus one, three. So the image of this point will be negative one and three here is a dash. Then B dash negative one plus two. The distance is adding two and the direction is positive. So here negative one plus two, it will be one. And one plus one, two. This is the, B, uh, the image of B, one and two. B dash. C dash, here C, negative two plus two will be zero. And zero plus one equals one. 
So this is the image of point C, 0 and 1. So here it will be the image of C. Is it clear now? Let's see another one. Find the image of the line segment XY where X 2 and 0, Y negative 1 and 1. By translation, XY where X plus 3 and Y plus 2. Here I have X, I want its image and the image also of Y. Here, x2 plus 3 equals 5. Then, 0 plus 2 equals 2. So, this is the image of this point. And we have to represent it on the coordinate plane. So, x dash here, it will be 5. Let this point be 5. 5 and 2. So, here... Here is x dash. Y dash, negative 1 plus 3, it will be 2. And 1 plus, three, uh, plus 2 equals 3. So Y dash equals 2 and 3. Here, Y dash. So this is the image of the line segment. Is it clear? Let's see another one with a different uh, idea here. The image of point AB by translation 2 and negative 3 is 5 and negative 4. What do you notice here? He gave me the image itself and he asking about the point. So here the point will be... How can I get the point? I get the image by adding the point to the translation. Now I want the point itself and I have the image. So I make the opposite. I subtract the translation from the image. Or the image minus translation give me the point. So here the image 5 and the translation 2. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Then negative 4 minus negative 3 negative 4 minus negative 3 it means plus 3 so it will be negative 1 I want to check my answer okay so I add this point to translation and find if I have the same answer or not 3 plus 2 equals 5 so I'm right. Here, negative 1 plus negative 3 equals negative 4. It's right. Okay? Let's complete these points. The image of the points 3 and 4 by translation 2 and 1 is... I want the image now. 3 plus 2 equals 5 and 4 plus 1 equals 5 plus 2. So this is the image of this point. I think it's very easy. The next one. The image of the point negative 1 and 6 by translation xy where x as it is, okay, it doesn't change here. So x will be as it is, and y plus 2. So here, x negative 1, I write it without any changing. And here, 6 plus 2 equals 8. So this is the, the image of the point. The next one, the image of the point by translation x, y, where x minus 2 and y plus 2 is 7 and 4. Here uh, also uh, give me the image and one the point. 
So, 7 minus negative 2, it means 7 plus 2. Again, 7 minus negative 2, it will be 9. And here, 4 minus 2, it will be 2. If you want to check your answer, make the opposite. 9 plus negative 2, it means 9 minus 2, 7. And 2 plus 2, 4. The image of the point A, 5 and 10, by translation. 5 units in the negative direction of x axis. Again. Here, the image of this point by translation, 5 units in the negative direction of x axis. He didn't mention y. It means y will be as it is without changing. So, what about x? It's 5 units in the negative direction. It means minus 7. It means x minus uh, 35. Okay? So here, 5 minus 5 equals 0. So this is the image of the point. The last one. The image of the point A, negative 3 and 6, by translation of magnitude, 6 units in the negative direction of Y axis. Here is the opposite. He didn't mention X. So X will be as it is, negative 3. And what about y? He said here, uh, 6 units in the negative direction, it means y minus 6. Here y 6, so 6 minus 6 equals 0. I think our lesson is very, very easy and very simple. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much and let's see you in another video in Thank you and goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,